wondered how intense an ab workout can actually get? Today, I am attempting the most brutal, core-crushing ab workout I could find online. Do you think you have what it takes to join me on this epic challenge? Do I think I have what it takes to join me? I don't know. <laughs> so stick around to see the results and maybe even discover a way to level up your fitness game. Hey hula babes, Hoopsie Daisy here, professional OnlyFans creator and your favorite circus performer next door. Welcome to my channel. The ab workout we're trying today is Unicycle Abs by Cirque du Soleil. When I was in circus school, we used to do this so regularly and it was a walk in the park. But I have a feeling it's gonna be a right struggle now. We are ready to go. We have our active wear on, we have our socks, we have our mat. Now we need to make sure that we have our warm up. I'm just gonna do like a cheeky little ab warm up, back warm up. I'm gonna warm up my toes a bit because they really like to point their toes in the ab workouts and I feel like that's part of the whole deal of doing a circ workout. I'm gonna assume that most of you watching just are holding your phone in your left hand, but if you're not and if you're ready to get started, then let's get started right now. <laughs> Woo! Right, we're going to assume their tabletop position, knees under hips, hands under shoulders, and we're just gonna arch that back, wake up those abs. We don't wanna like hinge in our lower back, we just wanna stretch our abs, because this is gonna be hard. <sighs> yeah. So now we're gonna suck our belly button to our spine, push the floor away, nice and tall. And then we're just gonna do some dynamic movements. So I'm not a yogi, so don't judge my flow. This is purely functional. No other reason why I'm doing it. Cool, and I'm just gonna oh, can you hear my knees click just then? <laughs> so me retired acrobat is this. Where's my knees? Yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, I'm some crawling forwards. Oh, oh no. My knees are just gonna click every time, aren't they? Spend too much time on them. I can't handle it anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna stop doing that because I don't think my knees like it. So this workout is a follow along workout, which means I'm gonna have it playing over there and I'm gonna do my best to follow it. But these guys are mega beastly and they just go, go, go. So part of the difficulty is gonna be me keeping up with them and then you keeping up with me. So just keep an eye on what's going on and let's get started. Ah, sit in a rest position. Just gonna do a gentle, why is that so hard? already hard and this is literally just their, their activation work. Okay, here we go. One, two, this is fine right? Three, here on some of these. Four, five. This is how they get us, they tease us thinking it's just gonna be a plain old out workout and the next thing you know you're crying. <laughs> oh yeah, legs up. Uh, 25. 30, 122, whoa! Are we strong? Yeah, we are. I'm not, I don't feel strong. Okay. Now we're just gonna, see this bit's complex because you have to keep the angles all, you know, in her. Do you need to, or is it just with me? I don't know if we're supposed to be like going all the way down or if we're just supposed to be doing a little bit, but it's hard work anyway. And I'm pushing down. And then point, I know, and reach. Mm. Yeah, oh no, we're going up from here. <laughs> That's actually really hard. <laughs> seven, apparently. I think we're on seven. 
This is where everyone finds out that they're stronger than Hipsy Daisy, who claims to be a professional acrobat. And she can't even do a five minute ab workout. Ah, oh, rest position. I just hold like this. Head has to stay up, and apparently my legs need to stay straight. Oh. Okay, this is actual killer. You think it's fine, and then suddenly you're dying. Okay, twisty, twisty. Okay. You know, it's bad when I can't even talk through the pain. Oh, there. There. I know I'm speeding up. I can't. I don't want to speed up, guys. I don't want to go to bed. This is like basically a rest. So I don't really know where my arms and legs are supposed to go. Anyone else feel like they want to throw up yet? Just me, okay. And we move. Three, ten. Ow. I feel like a beached whale right now. This is the hardest part, is like the hand to leg coordination. I can only coordinate when I've got hula hoops on me. We've got fishy twirls. Fishy twirls, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, up, up, ten, left, up, 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 up. Yeah! And we're going back down, and we're doing it again. That rest position, we're resting. I'm kidding, we're not resting. We're going down. I'm back up. Uh, <laughs> help! Okay, rolling. <laughs> oh, we're up. And now we're going to straighten these legs and hold. Oh, up. That's the end. You can rest now. Not like we basically haven't been resting the whole time. <laughs> the worst part about filming these videos is if I make mistakes and we have to do it again. So you just have to do it once, but I have to do it like 5,000 billion times. We are gonna catch our breath and stretch out now. Now we've got to cool down together. It's gonna be gentle, don't worry. Because I can't, I can't do hardcore. I can't do hard, guys. So I'm just gonna... Gently lift from my shoulders and then place our hands on the mat and just whew, let a deep breath out and let go of anything that's troubling you. Ah! And again, hands onto the mat, on each other's back, opening everything out, opening your chest, your hips, your legs. Nice, stretch out. <sighs> okay, we're gonna stretch out this way. So sitting on your knees, hips forward, keeping them away and just reaching back. And if you can reach your ankles, reach your ankles 
And if you've got a dead leg, don't worry, I do as well. It's all part of the yoga queen journey. And this is why I only hula hoop. Because at least hula hooping is just dangerous to my plants and not to my body. Thank you so much for joining me on this ab challenge. And if you did follow along, please do let me know how you found it. I know I found it really, really hard, but if you want me to do something even more difficult, I'd love to hear it. And if you still haven't got your hoopsie daisy fill, be sure to stick around for my next video, which is all about how not to slide into an OnlyFans creator's DMs.